Tid politics, real to the news, and Devante Frazier, Governor of South Carolina 2026. Let's get it. Major, major, major update, y'all. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but the girl that claimed that Kevin Porter beat her up, well, I don't even know if she ever was the one who made these claims in the first place, but she came out and said, he didn't hit me, he never brought his fist up at me and hit me, and he definitely didn't punch me in the face numerous times. That is a lie. I don't have any injuries to support that. Now I'm confused because who did it then? Or what really happened? Or why that was the narrative that we all got? Like we need we need real truth behind this. Now I'm starting to feel a type of way. Because before it was like, who can I defend in this situation? Now it's looking like I'm gonna have to be defending him because if she coming back and telling us that everything that I spoke on about a week ago is false, then that means either she lied or some type of witness lied. Like, who lied? Because the story was, you were asleep, he came in there, started beating the shit at you, you ran out the room, you ran for help, basically some shit out of movie type shit. Now, like I said, what really happened at this point, because... That, they they had that man looking like a monster, you know what I'm saying, making him look like he just a woman beater and shit. And certain stuff, bro, you can't come back from certain shit, you know what I'm saying, in this world. Like once people get a certain thing that they know about you and they feel like that's what it is, then they can't un they can't unsee it or forget it type shit. That's like saying somebody grape somebody. If they really didn't grape nobody, don't say that shit. Cause motherfucker hear grape and they be like. What? And they can't unsee it or unhear it. So don't, it's certain shit that you just, certain narratives that should not ever, ever come out because it could really ruin somebody's life for real. And from my understanding, no NBA team don't want him right now. And that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because if he really ain't do nothing, that's some fucking bullshit. But now, like I, like I stated a few weeks ago, if he did, you know what I'm saying? Then he gonna have to take the consequences as they come. You feel me? But... If he ain't did nothing to nobody and all this shit been a lot this whole time, he need to sue their ass. He need to sue somebody. He need to sue this girl. He need to sue the NBA bit. Somebody need to get sued because if he ain't do nothing and he still can't play basketball, that ain't fair, bro. Because y'all literally going off of what y'all heard, not facts, off of what you heard. And if the NBA walking like that, then I fuck the NBA. I watch the big three. Give a damn about the NBA. Ice Cube got the big three. I watched the big three until, until, until it's gone, motherfucker. Because I would not support a league that clearly just going to show us to our face that they don't give a fuck about a nigga. You feel me? Period, point blank. That's what they basically showing us. You feel me? I mean, yeah, you got players like John Morant want to play with guns and shit. But, you know, shit. If you ask me, this nigga was literally playing with guns. This nigga is... Getting accused of some shit. You feel me? It's a difference. One was on camera playing with guns, like literally doing hood rat shit. One got accused of doing some hood rat shit. Hopefully he didn't, but she said he didn't. So if she said he didn't, then that mean he fucking did, right? And then on top of that, put that man back on that basketball court because he wanted to be, man, this boy a fucking hooper. He can ball, bro. Like, y'all ain't even get to see what he can do yet. You did. That's the fucked up part about it. Y'all ain't even get to see how talented this man is yet. But, um, I hope it wasn't her that lied. But it sounded like she the one who did lie about the shit at first and then came back and said some other shit. And that's why females get looked, looked at the way they get looked at. Because y'all be doing some dumb shit, like. If this girl went and lied and then come back and talk about so he ain't do none of that. Well, bitch, his career, you fucking ruined his career now. So at this point, it don't matter because he can't play basketball no more. So <laughs> if he didn't do it, why the fuck did you lie? You know what I'm saying? In the first place. You feel me? That'd be the shit that pissed me off. She should get sued. She should be the one going to fucking jail. And he should get his goddamn NBA career back. The Rockets don't want him. Goddamn. I think... Um, Oklahoma City Thunder don't want him. Don't nobody want him because he got smut on his name. As soon as you get smut on your name, bro, it's over. It. They don't want you no more. And that's fucked up. So we'll see what happened moving forward in this uh situation. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all because 
And when, when a motherfucker come back out and say everything was a lie, that's like that Emmett Till shit to me. Except it ain't like years later and he ain't get locked up or killed or no shit. But it's still some bullshit. You feel me? Like, don't lie, bro. That line shit is not cool. And then it's like protect women. Protect them from what? Like, they can say whatever the fuck they want to say. They words protect them. You dig? But anyways, man, let me get up out of here before I get too mad and upset. Because I'm really pissed. I get pissed by shit like this. Shit like this really piss me. You dig? But anyways. Tid Politics, Real Ticket News, and Devontae Frazier, Governor of South Carolina 2026. Yeah, yeah.